Barbara. Welcome to the Spotlight Studio. Thank you, I feel like it's in my house, so it's, yeah. I feel very excited. So tell me, how has this experience of the European Development Days been for you? It's a fantastic experience because it's a space where people meet, it's a space where people share. There's an excitement around, I don't know, you can hear it from the sound, people feel that it's, it's, it's alive. And often when we talk about our things, it, it, people tend to think they're processes yeah. and they're about people. And actually this is why we do the stand this way. We have photographs of people, we talk about people's stories, we get people to engage, and in this sense, I think it's really been a success. Yeah. It's been incredible to be here at the studio here and then in the SDG stand, the UN stand, and just the tremendous amount of work that's gone into making this successful. This year's theme is obviously around women, specifically SDG 5. Um, and that is near and dear to my heart. Tell me a little bit about how this experience of the EDDs has been different for you, having this orientation around women, and how, you know, kind of what are some of your key takeaways that you've gotten from, from being here? You know, I keep saying girls for goals and goals for girls because it goes both ways. Um, it's, I'm, I'm really fixated with putting people's faces to issues and when you start talking about girls and women it becomes very real um, and it's not just about not leaving people behind girls behind which is often what is talked about and it is very true and very relevant but it's also women being drivers of being key actors in making things different and particularly in the CDDs, there are a lot of personal stories coming out. And I was very impressed, there was a president of Liberia actually saying that if he was there, it was because of the drive and the success-driven mother, but in with values, with morals, with, with and, and this is what it's about. Um, and so being here where people share these experiences and recommit to the exercise, um, on something that's so real and also so close to all of us. Um, you know, we all have mothers who have been fundamental in our lives. We all have role models who are also here. Um, I think those who are here believe in it profoundly and being here is a way of recommitting. And, and this is the energy and the positive thing one hears. I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna ride this energy all the way back to New York and as we kind of continue to work on Spotlight. So. Well, it's really exciting. It's it the is. first time that we have this much money from the European Union going in partnership with the UN to the elimination of violence against women and girls. As somebody who's been working in the field for 22 years, this is incredibly groundbreaking and also somewhat terrifying. So I'm both excited and also terrified that we're going to fail, though I don't think we will. We won't. What is exciting about Spotlight to you or what is your kind of thoughts about where it's going and where it could, where it could go? There's lots to think about. First of all, it's a real partnership. Uh, this is about two great organizations coming together to make a difference um, in a partnership spirit where we're getting the best that each one can bring. And both of our organizations are on the ground. Both of our organizations have things that they bring to the table. Um, and the fact that there is this partnership on such a critical topic is fundamental. So that is, you know, for me is the first win-win anyway. The second win-win is that it's about believing in the UN uh, and in its diversity and all of this diversity coming together um, to get the best of each of the agencies that are within the system. Um, I know it's complex to do. I've been the resident coordinator in the field. I've ha had to do it myself. But it actually, when it works, it works fantastically well. And it often works, much more often than one really believes that it does. The third is that it's about a really fundamental issue. Um, it's about violence on women and something that people don't talk about a lot, not enough. Um, and the fact that two organizations like ours are coming together means that it is being talked about. Hence, for example, the fact that Spotlight is, has a predominant role in this event. So already we're seeing the results. Already we're talking about violence. Already we're having presidents come and commit to fighting it and telling us what they're doing and what they will do. So the success is already there. Now we need to make sure that there is a difference in people's lives, the real people who are out there, all of them, um, that this really becomes a movement and that in the specific parts of it that are in the 
different countries that we've chosen to work in, that we can prove that if you concentrate on issues of this kind, you can make a difference. That it really, the, the, we can't just accept that these things go on forever and ever. We have to believe that we can stop them and that working together we will stop them um, and that we will bring to shame those who, who perpetuate this kind of thing. As somebody said in the opening, it's shameful. It's, it's the worst thing that can be done, that you have violence and different kinds of violence. When we talk about violence, we tend to talk about rape, which is the worst form and absolutely unacceptable form, but there are many other forms that also exist um, in all countries, by the way. And I think this is the true spirit of the SDGs. This is a universal agenda. The SDGs are a universal agenda. It's about working with those who are most vulnerable, but also accepting that these things happen everywhere, in my country, in your country, in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, and that if we get our leaders, but also the civil society uh, and our organizations committed to fighting it, it that actually we can, uh, and that we will. Uh, uh, and so this is why I'm excited. Um, and this is why I really wanted to have this stand on Spotlight, so that people could come and share the experience and talk about it and, and commit to making a difference. Um, I, I think we're already two, three hundred meters forward. Um, we've, we've, we've generated this exciting energy. Um, and, um, and now it's about making it happen on the ground. Um, and it takes all this great group of people who are so committed and who are also knowledgeable. It's not just commitment. We need to get the people who know how to work with the police, who know how to work with communities, who know how to uh, energize women so that these things come out in the open, those who work in communication. It really requires a very diverse set of, of knowledge and um, engagement. Well, on behalf of the Spotlight Secretariat in New York, I want to really appreciate your leadership and your voice. I think having a powerful woman like you representing Spotlight in Brussels, working with our EU pa partners, helping set up this amazing studio to give space and voice to all of these people who wanted to talk about Spotlight. It's been a tremendous boost to all of us. So just to appreciate you and your advocacy and leadership on that. It's a team spirit. We're all there. All the heads of agencies that are in Brussels are committed to it. This is co-funded by all of our agencies. They've all passed by here. They've dedicated their time and the energy. Um, and that's a success when it's a result of a lot of people putting energy in. Thank you so much. Thank you.